I'm good. I just woke up. Um, this is what Uncharted, the Nathan Drake collection. Uh, last night we beat Drake's fortune, so that was pretty fun. So today we're going to be starting Among Takes Us to get through that one. So I'm excited. Um, Uncharted 2 was my favorite Uncharted. Story-wise, it was very, very good. So let's just get into it. Um, I'm also going to be doing some Fallout 4 in Nuka World today. I wasn't able to get it up last night, but uh, I'll be able to do that today. Alright, here we go. Uncharted 2. New game. We're going to do normal again for now. I don't want to make it too ridiculous. We don't want to make it too ridiculous for ourselves, so we die all the time. But I am excited. I did not tell half of what I saw, for I knew I would not be believed. That is my absolute favorite fucking quote from Marco Polo. It is a fucking great quote, honestly. Hello! Hello! Alright, we we'll start the game as usual. Drake is in a fucked situation. It's my blood. Yes, it's my blood. It's a lot of my blood. Oh shit, man. This is just, I love this game. This is my favorite Uncharted. I fucking just, just played the shit out of it. See if we can climb out of here. Number one, a rock in a hard place. Chapter one. All right. All right, Drake. Let's climb, bro. You climbing really slow though with that gunshot wound. Oh, not going around. Gonna be going this way, I think. Oh, fuck. Damn. Straight wreck. Alright, guys. <laughs> Let's keep going. Oh, shit, dude. I remember the most ridiculous parts about this game. This one had a, even. It, people thought Uncharted 1 was ridiculous. When they played this one, shit, dude. This one was even more ridiculous. I mean, you fucking start out the game, you fucking shot, and you have to climb a derailed train. Like, I don't know how much ridiculous this they can put into it's one okay. game. It's okay. Come on. Oh, uh, shit. Fuck my life. Uh, I'm gonna go play. Oh, shit. Alright, so I think we beat Uncharted 1 with like, I want to say like 40-ish deaths, so let's see what we can do on Uncharted 2, let's see how many deaths we can get. I'm, I think I'm going to die a lot less, but I'm not going to like for sure say that, but I know this game really well. Like, I played this one probably more than I played Uncharted 1, so, oh fuck, oh my god, did you guys just see that shit? I tried to jump for that. And woo! Okay, okay, okay. Almost could have been a death there, but it wasn't. We gotta go and get back on this pole. Hi, Scrapper. What's going on? Our dog's just chilling. He's like, "What's up?" Oh. Uh, I hope you guys are doing good this morning. I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. I know I enjoy playing Drake's Fortune for you guys. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. Uh, like I said, I always love you guys' just feedback. And uh, definitely love doing these games for you guys and just making videos in general for you guys. It's just fun for me. Oh, 
go, go, go. Oh my god, now Drake. No Drake run. Go, go. For those of you who don't know, at this point, Find Drake and Elena so. are no longer together. Harry Flynn? Hey! What the hell are you doing here? I'm looking for you, mate. Uh-oh. Should I be flattered or worried? Maybe a bit of both. <laughs> Come here. I've got a job for us. Really? A client is willing to part with a huge sum of cash if we acquire a certain object, object for him. Okay. And I'm listening. Yeah. You're not gonna like this. Oh no. No, you're out of your mind. Yeah, you just just hear me out. No, no. Flynn, we both know two people who were killed trying to lift something out of this and place. One who made it out. Yeah, barely. I can't do this without you, Drake. You're the only one who's cracked it, and you know better than anyone it's a two person job. No, no, no. Three, actually. Right. And speak of the devil, here mm. she comes now. Here she comes now. What? Chloe Fraser. Nate. Drake, Nathan. Drake. Hello, Harry. Chloe here's one of the best drivers in the business. She'll take good care of us. I bet. Transfer look by the beauty. I've got it all figured out. We go in through the sewer. I'm loving it so far. That puts us in the courtyard. From there we scale up the wall, run across the rooftops, and just drop down into the exhibit hall. Bob's your uncle. And what is worth all this trouble, I hear you ask? I didn't, but go ahead. I didn't, but go ahead. <laughs> but that's it. An oil lamp. Yeah. <laughs> it's worthless. I don't get it. Neither do we. That's why we tracked you down. Well, it sounds like you're working for a nutcase. Hmm. Some collector who's got too much time and money on his hands. And by the way, this is not worth any of it. But there's more. How's your 13th century Latin, mate? Where'd you get this? Borrowed it from the files of the nutcase. <laughs> In Trebizond, we were set upon by thieves. Father, Maffeo, and I were robbed of our greatest treasures. This was written by Marco Polo. Yes, that much we were able to work out. Unfortunately, the rest of it's nonsense. Hey, hold on. So that it should not fall into the wrong hands. I concealed my great sorrow in the unlikeliest place. The light of the great Khan shelters the fate of the Thirteen. See what I mean? It's just gibberish. That's not He's gibberish. He's talking about, about the, the lost, lost fleet. fleet. Yeah. I don't know. Someone want to fill me in? Marco Polo leaves China with 600 passengers and 14 ships loaded down with treasure from Kublai Khan. And he lands in Persia a year and a half later with only one ship left, and only 18 passengers. Now, he recorded every detail of his journey, but he never told what happened what to happened all, to those, all ships those ships and the passengers. So, so somewhere out there, there are 13 ships loaded with the Emperor's treasure waiting to be found. Yeah, and that is what your client is after. Hey, look at this lamp. It's covered in Mongolian script. It must have been a gift from Kublai Khan. The light of the great Khan shelters the, the fate, fate of, of the 13. 13. Marco Polo hid something inside, inside this, this lamp. lamp. Something that pinpoints the site of the lost fleet. So... We're dicking this guy over, right? Damn straight. Absolutely. Damn straight. <laughs> you in then? What the hell? I mean, what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> what could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh... Good times. Good times, my friends. Anyway, let's continue on. We've been shot. 
Oh shit, I don't know if you guys just saw that. I don't know if you just saw that. It's happening. Alrighty, first treasure. This is the, this is actually, this treasure right here is in Uncharted 4. Yep. Don't want to spoil anything with why it's in the game, but, you know, it's in there. I remember. Oh shit, oh, shit. We gotta go. Crawl now. Gonna have to get through there. Dude. But you gotta keep moving. Oh, there's oil on the snow. That dude is dead as fuck. <laughs> All right. Now that we've got a gun. Of course, it's locked. It's always locked. Yep. Oh, he just touches it again. I thought maybe if he just did it enough, he would break it, but... Now it's gonna be good. I already reloaded. I'm good. Let's keep moving up. Ooh, shit, dude. I'm not even... Yeah, I was gonna say, I'm not even wasting Carver's the ammo. A bitch. I was like, I'm not wasting the ammo when he's about to get blown up. Ah, oh, dude, that must hurt, dude. That must kill the shoulder. Especially with the gunshot wound. Uh, okay. How fucking... Nathan Drake's a savage, though. To be shot in the shoulder, or not the shoulder, but the gut. Like, the worst place to be shot. And still be able to just fucking go ham. Alright, we're gonna have to jump it. I'm not sure where I'm completely standing here, guys, but I'm terrified. Not sure if I'm even supposed to be down here. What the fuck? Okay, so if you miss the jump, okay, I thought I was going to die, I was going to be like, damn it, but here we go. I made that jump every time before, I'm guessing, because I don't remember that part. Oh, shit, oh, fucking gunshot wound, still fucking hell, dude, that, you're done, like, damn, Drake, you're just getting shit oh, Come on, dude, the guy's been shot. <laughs> Knocked out. Here we are. And what do we have here? Hello. Hello. Well, so much for foreplay. You mind telling me what the hell is going on? You mean with Flynn? Yeah, you might have warned me. And missed the look on your face? Anyway, you haven't exactly made yourself easy, easy to, to find. find. Talk about making yourself easy. Oh, you're not jealous. <laughs> Let's not forget who walked out on whom. After all, you don't get to be jealous. <laughs> Wait a minute, Chloe. If it makes you feel any better, my relationship with Flynn is strictly professional. Really? Mostly professional. No. Mostly professional. <sighs> when I figured out he was actually on to something, I thought you'd want to be in on the action. <laughs> so what's the plan? Just like we said, we pull the heist. We find the ships and we make off with the treasure. With Flynn? Mm hmm And then? And then we split the take three ways and you and I just... Disappear. disappear. Together, this time. I see. Until then, he can't know about us. He's gonna be pissed. Yep. He's gonna be fine. <coughs> Trust me.
I always preferred Chloe and uh, Drake over Elena and Drake. I'm going to be straight up honest with everyone. Hate me for it. But I felt like they were a much better couple because Elena just like ruins Drake's life and makes him settle down and shit. And that always pissed me off because like, fuck that bro. Drake's a savage. Drake should be finding treasure or living off somewhere with Chloe after you got a bunch of treasure. Oh shit. Alright. Let's go. Underneath. Oh fuck. Alright. Poor Drake, bro. Shot. Blown up. Like. Dude is not having a good day. Still keeps trucking though. <laughs> Fucking hell, dude. Alright. Sure you're up for this. I'd feel a lot better if I had a gun. We won't need them. A little insurance, that's all. Flynn, they're just museum guards. And we have their patrols all mapped out. Relax. Relax. <laughs> Relax. Have you ever been in a Turkish prison, mate? If no. we get caught, they no, will lock us up and throw away one. the sodding key. You do realize that, don't you? <laughs> better than you do. Well, you may fancy that kind of thing, but I don't. <laughs> Can't afford to make any mistakes. Yeah, and we won't. We're here. <laughs> anyway. Let's go. This way. So what do we do if they switch the patrols? Figure it out as we go. We cannot fumble our way through this. Yeah, I'm uh, adaptable. adaptable. Adaptable? You cocky bastard. <laughs> there. What did I tell you? That passage there is going to take us right under the museum. <laughs> you called it all right. You need to have a little more faith in me, chum. <laughs> OK, this one here is me. All right, remember, that tower is our only way into the exhibit. But we can't even get close with those floodlights on. We've gone over this. Just make sure you cut the power by the time we reach the second courtyard. The lights will be out. The lights will be I'll out. I'll have the van waiting at the rendezvous point. Just make sure you get your asses out of there in time. Fair enough. All right, enough chat. Let's do Let's this. Do this. <sighs> Chloe. See you on the other side. Looking forward to it. Are you sure you know where you're going? Don't I always? Breaking and entering. Don't you love the way the water makes your jeans all squidgy? <laughs> all squidgy. It's like the good old days, isn't it? Yeah. When were those again? Uh, when were those again? Right. Oh, wait. This can't be right. We must have made a wrong turn somewhere. <laughs> hey. Nope. Now, what do you bet that will take us right into the boiler room? 
And from there, we're in. Yeah, in like Flynn, right? What? In like Flynn. In like Flynn. I don't get it. I Just give it. me a boost. <laughs> uh, dude, that joke always used to kill me. He said, in my clin, get it? I don't it comes. get it. Thanks. Almost okay. there. You ready? Let's go. No glory. Here we go. And we're in. We're good. All right, more climbing to do. Just reach up there and grab the ladder. Okay, am I? You see that twist he did? Yeah. What a parkour master, bro. Yeah, I dropped it down for you. All right, this is the way to the courtyard. Well, we're not going this way. Not if you want to keep your skin. Yeah, we're going this way. All right. To get this. Got to be a shut up around here somewhere. See if you can find it then. Shutting off that steam. This would not be instantly not hot. And Drake has gloves on, so I'm pretty sure he would be able to pass over it the first time without turning on the the fucking thingy. But that's okay. All right. The shit I didn't notice as a kid. Look at that guard. Okay. Now there should be a door just around this corner. That's our access point. Once we're through, just stick to the plan. You got me? You got me. Tell me you didn't miss this. I'm here, aren't I? All right. That's locked. Good job I came prepared. <laughs> I pick more than my nose, my friend. Wait! <laughs> There's an alarm. Oh, that's new since last time. <sighs> Great. Now what? Well, I can disarm it if we can find the junction box. All it's right. It's got to be around here somewhere. The cord leads to treasure. picked that fast he was already picking that I believe before the alarm was turned off shit I got him I saw a boo like broke his neck it looks like Jesus <laughs> there's the tower yeah but we can only get to it from the roof and we can't get to the roof from here we're gonna have to make our way to the next courtyard through that gate over there. All right. Well, let's do it. All right. There we go. <clears throat> Gotta get up to that balcony. We can climb the gate over here. Got it. Ah la la. 
All right, moving. <clears throat> Go. Huh. Oh my God, dude! How did that dude not see me? That was. Woo. Oh, punk. Get some. Ah, fuck. Two more guards? Come on. Come on. What are you waiting for? We're almost there. You go left. Let's go. Oh, shit. I saw, dude. You're done. <laughs> Backhand. The backhand of truth. Huh? Orda. Oh shit, dude, that dude saw me. That dude saw me. I didn't even know that guy was back there. Fair enough. Backhand. Lights out. What is that dude? Ooh, there he is, and there's a treasure. This up, sneak right under. Whoa, whoa, not so fast. There's another alarm. Oh, great. You want to get this one? Uh huh. Unlikely. Right here. Unlikely that he wants to get the next one. right there <laughs> you're done backhand backhand you're done <laughs> you're done <laughs> Done. You're done. <laughs> oh my god. Alright. Uh, let's go. Now we just gotta find a way up to that window. Which window? There's a lot of bloody windows. Fuck, man. 
move out the way. Now what? It's time to tip the odds back in our favor. Oh, that's really, brilliant. Dude. Guns? What are you thinking? Relax, Gandhi. They're tranquilizer guns. Totally non-lethal. Your conscience will remain oh, unscathed. Oh, all right, bro. Oh. Good idea. Great. OK, a little bit of advice. These things have lousy range, so we still have to get in close. You OK with that? Sure. You know how to shoot a gun, genius. All right. All right. All right. Let's take these guys out. Bu kutulara bizim taşımamızı beklemiyorlar umarım. Bu bizim görevimiz değil ki. Bunlar ne? Oh shit! I did not hit him. Damn it! Fuck! They saw me. No. All right, let's take these guys out. Damn it! What the fuck is this shit? I bet I'm I'm doing it too quick. We gotta wait. Let's take these guys out. Let's just wait. And pow! Oh my god! You kidding? Pow! You're done. All right, let's go this way. Nah. It's not happening. Hello. Huh. You're done. All right. Now that I've just destroyed those guys. All right. This could help. I feel like it wouldn't yeah, take both of them work. to push this. Now all we need is a horse. Nope. Those rafters will get us onto the roof if we can get up there. Oh Good yes. Good thing one of us thought ahead, eh? Oh. Yeah. Grappling hook man over here. Oh yours. You're done. <laughs> Bro, you can put your hands down. Ooh, thanks, mate. <laughs> he took him a long time to notice. <laughs> it was like... <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, my God. I should have died. I think I'm going to take the elevator next time. Yikes. Fuck, I did all that when I could have just... No, I can't do that. Oh, wait, no. No, you can't. Alright. So, we're gonna do this again. Anyway. Oh, it was right here. I feel retarded. Alright, there's the tower. Getting closer. Floodlights need Appreciate to be on. that update, Captain Obvious. <laughs> Flynn was one of my favorites. <laughs> what the fuck? What? What even, Flynn, bro? I was just about to say how you were, like, my favorite villain. What the fuck? Him and Rafe are my favorite villains. Rafe is from number four. Okay... Moving along. Almost. 
Oh shit. Ooh. Thank you. Gotcha. Pull me up. You put on weight, mate. Oh my god, that was so quick. Alright, no more donuts for you. Okay, it told me I got a headshot there for no reason. That's funny. Rope again. Back and forth and back and forth. As always. Uh, okay, this be a Okay, okay, well, he's gonna say goodbye. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams as he dies. Is the guy below me now? Yeah, great view. I can see your house. Let's get moving. All right. <laughs> boop, boop, boop. Boop, 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 boop. No. Nah. Are you kidding? You're done, sir. Alright. I jump for that. I do, I think. Oh, snap. Oh, snap. You're done. Shit. We can't get any closer with the tower lit up like that. What the hell is she doing? Come on, Chloe. Give it a second. Done. <laughs> That's my girl. Uh, your girl. Haha. <laughs> yeah, your girl. <coughs> We're not gonna say anything about that. Let me grab Scrappling Hook Man again, or you're gonna pick the lock with your hands just being held there. Okay. We're clear. Yeah, I fucking knew it. He's gonna have another grappling hook. Dude's got infinite grappling hooks. Ladies first. Ah, <laughs> cute. <coughs> Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> All right. It is. Yeah, and there's the acoustic alarm. Until we get this case unlocked, that thing's gonna go off if we so much as touch this glass. No worries, mate. Voila. <laughs> All right. I said no worries, mate. Now we're sure it's the right one. I guess there's only one way to find out. Sorry, Marco. Statement of the year. This is it. It's bloody useless. Way the light of the great Khan. Wait a minute. What are you doing? It's resin. It'll burn. And just give me your lighter. Is that really a good idea in here? And there we go. Let me see that. Yep, there it is. Our ships were driven by a great flood Shh. tide into it's the wilds zero. of Java. Sounds like they were hit by a tsunami. Yeah, somewhere off the west coast of Borneo. Oh, great. That narrows it down a bit. Uh, look, this mountain must have been the closest landmark where they went aground. We find that mountain. We find the ships. Yeah, good work, mate. Uh, wait, wait, there's more. Okay, Joe. As if the ocean itself sought to throw off the terrible cargo we carried from Shem... Bala. 
The curse of the Chintamani. Would that mean something to you? Shambhala. Oh my god, Flynn. What? Marco Polo found Shambhala. Shangri-La. You're joking. Shangri-La, the city if of they gold. They're carrying the Chintamani stone. It might still be there. It's all very fascinating, but we really gotta go. Yeah, I'm right behind you. What the hell are you doing? Sorry, mate. This is where we part ways. Wait, Flynn, we had a plan. No, you had a plan. Turns out I've got one of my own. All right, come on, throw me the rope. Don't be stupid. Oh, yeah, right. You're the mastermind. Only you overlooked one little detail. Didn't you, partner? Oh, so what are you going to do, shoot me now? No, I just need you out of the way for a little while. Oh, shit! You think I didn't know about the ships from the beginning? Any schoolboy could have figured that out. Flint, listen. Face it, genius. You've, You've been, been played. Ah, uh ah, -uh, not yet. I want to give the guards a decent head start. Right, that's my cue. No hard feelings, yeah? Ah, fuck me. Nah. Nah. No, 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 no! Okay, now I'm screwed. Alright, alright. Thank, thank you. Thank go, you. Go, go, go. Yeah, there it is. Go, go, go. One little detail, didn't you, partner? No. What? What? Face, Face it, genius. genius. You've been, You've been played. played. Oh. Hey, hey, hey! Jackass, you're ruining, you're ruining the show, the show here. here. Ah, what a shame. Sully! I really can't leave you alone for a minute. Oh, man, am I glad to see you. How are you doing, kid? Uh, I'm doing just great. So, I had to grease a few palms. Did go through the rest of your money. Good chunk of my own, but hey. <laughs> Jesus, you stink. Yeah, not half as bad as that cigar. <laughs> hey, how'd you find me? Well, a uh, friend of yours asked for my help. Hello, Nate. Oh, no. No. Now, wait a second. Sully, kick her out and shut the door. We're safer in here. Just wait a goddamn minute. We're safer minute. in here. Give her out. Thank you, Victor. Hey, no offense, Sully, but you're not exactly the best judge of character, especially when it comes to women. Fair enough. All the same. Dear God. Oh, no, it's not, that, not bad. that bad. Look, I have, I have my, own, my bucket. own bucket. Last summer, <laughs> listen, eight of us had to share. Listen, Nate. You know something I really appreciate you dropping by? But if you and Flynn hadn't screwed me over in the first yeah, place, I wouldn't have been rotting in this shithole for listen, the last three Nate. months. So excuse me if I'm not just, you know, leaping into your arms. I had nothing to do with it. Right. I told you. He's not going to listen to me. Screw this. Nate, they found the ships. In Borneo. Yes. And the Chintamani stone? How do you know about that? Do you really think Flynn could have figured that out on his own? All right, good point. No, <laughs> they haven't found it yet. What do you mean, they? Flynn and his client, Bazarovich. You know, the nutcase. They've been working together all along. All right, then. If they haven't found the stone, that means there's still time. You're going to get us into that dig site. We're going to snatch that treasure right out from under them. 
They'll never see it coming. Man, well, payback's a bitch. Payback's a bitch. Look, they called it the wish-fulfilling jewel. It's a sacred object. What, like a Buddhist holy grail? Exactly. Thanks. Sully, listen to this. In the kingdom of Shambhala lies the most precious thing to be found in all the world. A perfect raw sapphire, sapphire of the deepest, the deepest blue, blue, larger around than the reach of a man's arms. Ooh, that's gotta be worth millions. Hundreds of millions. And you say there's more of this? Loads more. Lazarevich paid top dollar for Marco Polo's journals. He's been after the Chintamani stone for years. <laughs> well, if he's been counting on Flynn to find it for him, it's no wonder he hasn't had any luck. <laughs> if I can get a look at Lazarevich's files, I can find that stone. Uh, hang on a minute, cowboy. That's easier said than done. The files are in his tent, and his tent is in the middle of the camp. It's like an armed compound. There are soldiers everywhere. Well... That's why it has to be an inside job. From someone they know and trust. Oh. Okay, I see where this is going. I just need a diversion. You give me five minutes in that tent, that's all it'll take. Really? Five minutes? Well, that's great. I won't even have to get my top off. <laughs> Chloe, I was thinking more like an explosion. Or that can be arranged. She said, really? five minutes. Are you in? Oh, oh hell yes. I was off. in before you were. Chloe, you're reading us? Loud and clear. We're getting close. <laughs> all right. Chapter three. Okay, order. I've planted charges all around the perimeter of the camp. You two just need to arm them. The first one should be right ahead of you. Well, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the first, no, part nine, but the first technical part of Among Thieves. Uh, I'm going to be right back with some more. But uh, this part's gone on long enough for the first part, so I think I'm going to end it here, and I'll be right back. So I hope you guys are enjoying the series so far. Thank you for all that you guys do, and I will see you dudes and dudettes in the next video. Later.